welcome to the practicals under computer aided engineering course and uh, today we'll learn about experiment number 4 which is beam elements non linear buckling analysis and here is the problem statement so in this problem statement initially the beam uh, is used whose length is 4 meter and the load uh, was uniformly distributed uh, uh, and uh, it deplates by 15 mm now this beam is uh, used as a column and we have to calculate the uh, deflection and different modes of the uh, deformation okay so let us jump to the uh, this workbench now in workbench first we'll perform static structural and then we'll give the inputs to the eigen buckling again we'll perform the static structural so in three stages this experiment has to be performed so in static structural uh, select static structural and drag and drop into the main window and uh, it will show as a static structural and under geometry tab let us go and uh, let us change uh, sorry let us model the geometry first uh, so new design modeler now it will take few minutes a uh, few seconds to open the design modeler yeah now this is the design modeler let us first check the units of the problem they are uh, mm somewhere they are mm so i am selecting them as a mm so at the top you will find the units tab and under units tab select millimeter okay next uh, we have to select xy plane because we are going to draw the cross section on the xy plane so select xy plane and say look at okay now next important thing sketching so under sketching tab select the circle because the cross section is circular and draw two circles one by one right and under dimensions tab uh, already general selected don't change it select the circle first and uh, give the diameter value again select the second circle and uh, let us change the values uh, external diameter is 137 and id is 103 so let us change them this is 103 and this is 137 okay now the diameters have changed okay again go in the modeling tab now we have to extrude this cross section to create a pipe uh, uh, with length equal to 4 meters so in the create extrude okay select the geometry so geometry is under xy plane which is a sketch so select that sketch and say apply and here we have to give the depth okay see the depth is 30 mm but our in our case it is 4 meters so i am entering the value as a 400 mm okay and just click on this extrude and uh, right click and uh, say generate okay and the section is generated see how the pipe is created again close the design modeler yeah again it will return back to the original uh, screen now under model click uh, right click it and say edit you can double click in the model uh, and uh, it will open the ansys mechanically okay so we have to wait for a few seconds you can uh, uh, speed up the video uh, if you want yeah the jaw now uh, we have to wait till the geometry is visible okay then we can say the total data is loaded so wait uh, for few seconds again yeah the geometry is now visible yes okay now i will create the mesh first okay see the pipe cross section is very uh, small thickness is very small but length is very high so uh, under meshing tab right click say insert okay uh, under insert uh, or we'll do it first uh, auto mesh so mesh generate mesh okay and uh, i will show you what is the problem so on the face the elements are created they are very nice okay uh, they are good in uh, quality but on the face uh, see that the only one element is created one line of element is created but which is uh, of poor quality so for to change this uh, under mesh we have to insert uh, here we have to say face meshing okay face meshing and which face we have to mesh 
this is the face that we have to mesh say apply and under this face uh, say uh, this this is the internal number of divisions which is right now zero so i will take it as a two at least we have to use two and again go in the mesh and say generate mesh so it will modify the mesh okay and see now it is a good quality mesh uh, it has created two elements here okay next important things go in the static structure right click insert and uh, we have to fix the bottom of this so i am selecting fix support now the fix support for that i have to reorient this figure yeah and uh, i can say this is the bottom so this is the bottom face select it and say apply okay and on the top face we have to apply a compression load so again uh, select static structural insert and uh, select force okay and uh, uh, just reorient the figure and uh, uh, yes this is the face on which we have to apply the compression force so select that face say apply and uh, change the type of force from vector to component and now see the length is along the z uh, direction so we have to give input in the z, z component and the value of the force is which is it is 102.7055 so I am giving value as a minus 102.7055 just look uh, we'll confirm it 102.7055 7.0.7055 and say enter now again in the solution right click and say insert deformation total and one more thing insert deform uh, insert stress but now it is not equivalent stress it should be uh, normal stress okay and in the normal stress we have to change the axis orientation uh, it is now currently x we have to modify it to z and say right click solve now it will solve the problem this is the first step of the total experiment okay we have to complete uh, this experiment in three stages so just wait uh, until it solves okay now if you select this deformation see the deformation how the deformation uh, is but now this is not important deformation for us okay normal stress is important okay so note down the values of normal stresses and take the image of this now i will go back to original uh, window okay here all the uh, uh, sub tabs are uh, ticked by green okay now i will use uh, this solution okay right click on uh, in the solution and i will say transfer data to new eigen value buckley and it will automatically transfer uh, transfer this data to eigen value buckley and again in the setup tab uh, say edit okay and you will return to uh, this ansys mechanical window so under this window okay uh, select this analysis setting see the, there are only two modes uh, it has shown or it has taken as a by default uh, changes to four at least and under solution so insert three deformation sorry four deformations uh, so insert deformation total that is one again i am doing this is second this is third and this is four now for first deformation see the mode is first which is correct but for second deformation again it is showing mode one change it to mode two and for third deformation change it to three and for fourth deformation change it to four okay and again say right click and solve so it will solve the problem again uh, few seconds uh, it will take wait till it solve the problem yeah now it is solving it wait uh, till it solve the problem 